What's going on, Pokemon trainers? Trainer Connor here, and it's time for another Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi Battle video. Yeah, so we're using the same team as last video. If you haven't seen it, make sure you do so. It's down in the playlist of my Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Battle videos. So, yeah. Yeah, we're using the same team as last video, but my opponent today is called Destroyer117, and he has legendary Pokemon, with, with the exception of Blastoise. From left to right, he has Xerneas, Zekrom, Vikini, Blastoise, Volcanion. I haven't fought a Volcanion before, guys, and let me tell you, Volcanion is not out yet legally, so this person obviously hacked it, and he has a Mewtwo to start out. Uh, the team on my side looking the same. We got Sinchino, we've got Ferrothorn, we got Defog Lachios, which worked out pretty well in the last video, and then um, a weird max speed uh, Magmortar set choice scarf crocodile and vaporeon that is really defensive max hp max defense to soak up some hits and boy do we need it because we have all these legendaries to fight how are we going to win this battle whoever wins this battle you're gonna have to find out so hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you hit that like button if you do enjoy this video so he's going to start with Mewtwo, a shiny Mewtwo, um, which I guess there's an event going on because you don't normally get that unless you're really lucky and getting a shiny Mewtwo there. Um, he has a uh, Mewtwo X, so he gets to Mega Evolve into Mega Mewtwo S, and he has Aura Sphere, which I was a little bit sad to see that. I was hoping he would have like some else other than that but uh yeah slickback doesn't do anything again because i don't think he did anything in the last video so i'm sorry slickback i really need to put you on a short scarf or something to outspeed these guys i go into vaporeon and i get the burn that's really important at the time but he has a uh, strike which is a uh a special move, but it targets the physical uh, defense of that Pokemon that's being hit. I go into Sandyville, this is Crocodile, and he gets blasted away because uh, he apparently went for another Aura Sphere, probably expecting me to go into Sandyville. That was so ballsy, I should have stayed in there. That's Fine, two of my Pokemon don't get a chance to fight in this battle. Ugh, that sucks. I go into Lockeos. This thing has Defog and Psyshock. I get to hit Psyshock on Volcanion here. Volcanion is not that fast. It cannot outspeed my Lockeos. But its typing is really interesting. It's uh, Fire and Water. Yeah, very interesting typing. It has the signature move of Steam Eruption, which wouldn't really do much against Latios because Latios resists that move. It gets a lot of coverage though, so don't expect, like, if I ever face off against another Volcanion, I will not kick it very lightly. So, um, I'm, I am expecting a Moonblast to hit Ferrothorn with. And so I go into this thing, I get to go for Thunder Wave, I get to catch Vikini on the switch end, which is fantastic because now I, it's very likely that he will go with a fire type move. I can't really damage it with my attacking moves on Ferrothorn, so I go into Lockheos again to dodge the expected V create or fire type move, whatever he has. So he gets to lower his uh, statistics. And now he gets to switch out, goes back into Xerneas. I really should have gone with a Psy Shock, expecting that, because Draco Meteor does not affect Xerneas as a fairy type. <sighs> very tough, just very tough. Already in this battle. So, um, 
Nonetheless, actually doesn't kick out Vaporeon, and like I said, it's a max HP, max physical defensive build. Can't really take that many special attacking moves there. I should have said that in a lot better fashion there, but I didn't. You know what I meant, right? Uh, so, we lose Vaporeon, which kind of sucks. I don't know how we would handle. Because, yeah, he has Victini, but Victini is notorious for carrying psychic type moves. We don't know. We just don't know. But losing Vaporeon like that as my wall for the Pokemon that he has is just overwhelming, actually. Now, we do, I do, ex I did, actually, I did expect him to double switch there into Blastoise. And I got to go into Magnum expecting that to be the case. So we get to take care of Blastoise just like that. Now he has a Zekrom, which Zekrom... Uh, Zekrom is a physical attacker, so I'm going to switch into Ferrothorn again. And he has Fly. So Fly is going to do a, a little bit of damage there. Iron Barbs and the Rocky Helmet combine that, you're gonna... It, it's a great strategy because you'll take care of the Pokemon that he has relatively easily, if that makes sense. Because in the next few turns here, he does have Draco Meteor. He's gonna try to take me out on a special side. I'm going to hit him right back with a Power Whip. Doesn't do that much, but the next time he's going to attack me, he is going to take a lot of recoil damage. So, in the end, we're going to take out Zekrom. All because he gets to attack me with the physical attacking moves there. Great. Just great. Um, Zekrom goes down. But I'm at the range of HP where it's like, if a king, you can come in and just wreck my world here. So I'm gonna stay in. No reason to switch out, especially since Inferno is a very strong fire-type move. Nobody else can just take that blow. So that is gonna be tough. I don't have Surf on this particular Lockheos. If I had it, I would have used it right there to hit Victini, who's weak to water-type moves. But it's okay. Uh, we actually very obviously live that attacking move. And the reason I went for Psy Shock instead of Draco Meteor is because I was expecting him to switch. Uh, I guess I got a little bit carried away. We get a double down out of this. Isn't that awesome? But I really should have gone with the Draco Meteor. But if I missed it, then all that would have been pointless. My last Pokemon is Magnum. My Magmortar. And, uh, we have Fire Blast. It's a very strong move, but Xerneas has really good special defense. So, I'm not expecting this to do a lot of damage. And, yeah. He has Moon Blast. Fortunately, you don't get the special attacking drop there. Wow. The special attack drop from the Moon Blast. Can't talk today for some reason. He gets a critical hit on the Thunderbolt, which, ah, uh, that just makes it easier for my opponent, but then I miss the Fire Blast. So, you know, I get a little bit of half star right there at the end, but that was still a great battle. You don't normally see Volcanion in a battle that much. So, you know, that was a great battle. Thank you very much, Destroyer 117, for a great match. Hope you guys enjoyed the match as well. And I will come with you in another Wi-Fi battle here soon. So stay tuned for more. Have a great day, trainers.